People spend their whole lives struggling to become mediocre at things that they're terrible at. Our parents and our teachers to try to help us be more successful in the education system, motivated by nothing but love, usually, and nothing but trying to protect you from the pain that comes from living in a judgmental, fearful world, usually, teach us to keep this side of ourselves hidden in the dark. This part of you, no one quite understands, and it makes people you know, a little uncomfortable. So they tell you, crumple that down so you can fit in and have friends. And this doesn't fit in with the, any of the defined sports teams or whatever. And so they tell you, crumple this down. They try to sand down all your quote unquote rough edges and your oddball peculiarities and all the things that make you uniquely, spectacularly, beautifully you. And they, the technique that they use is shame. And they give and take love, security, and self-esteem. Those are the three main levers that they use to get us to fit in. We have this side of ourselves that is actually our most extraordinary, and they teach you to keep it out of the light. They teach you to keep it in the dark. This is why it's called your dark side. This is the most powerful part of your essence, and you spend an extraordinary amount of your time and energy and psychic ability trying to keep it hidden from everyone. This is where neuroses comes from. This is where anxiety disorders come from. These are all kinds of performance problems come from because people are taking so much of their, of their energy and they're using it to try to fight against and hide the most extraordinary part of themselves. Which ironically, I have found in my own life, that part of yourself that's extraordinary is the part that's gonna attract people to you. But instead of allowing it to work for you, which requires no energy, it's effortless. It's effortless to just let this be mm -hmm. who you are. Instead of being effortlessly extraordinary, people it, use tremendous amount of time and energy trying to hide this part of themselves, and then they feel ashamed of it when it pops out. People think their dark side is bad. Their dark side isn't bad. Their dark side is what makes them uniquely, spectacularly a unique human being. The more you stop using that energy to hide, who you're all about and you tap into this huge reservoir of energy that you were using before to work against yourself, now that reservoir, that, that reservoir of energy can be used for you. It's, it's, it's a complete, I mean, it's a complete game changer. Mm -hmm. you, you go from struggling and struggling and struggling and struggling to all of a sudden everything just starts working for you, working for you, working for you. And it gets easier and easier and easier, better and better and better, faster and faster and faster. The modern education system teaches children to be well-rounded. Well, that's what well-rounded looks like, you know? Meanwhile, and not that money is the only measure of success, but if you just measure it by money, I mean, I make more money than 99% of the world's population, and I can't do math. I'm one of the most disorganized people I've ever met but I've got this one part of myself that is just extraordinary. And I've just leveraged it to the hilt for myself and for others. And if everyone would do that, we'd have all these extraordinary oddballs who would stop being ashamed of themselves and, and, and they'd have a lot more success.